All right, everyone, welcome to this weekend slash Monday Sidereal Astrology Forecast. So I accidentally did the Friday forecast uh, by itself yesterday. Um, so in this video, we're going to do uh, Saturday and Sunday as the weekend forecast, and then we're going to look at Monday as well. Okay, so hopefully that's not too confusing, but uh, a little bit different than usual. Uh, we're going to sort of split this up into two halves here, weekend and then Monday. All right, so um, on Saturday and Sunday, we've got the moon in a fucus on Saturday. Very deep, right? And this may have been the case on Friday as well. Um, very good for inner awareness. Now, what a fucus is specifically about is about wounds, right? And accepting these wounds. And through that acceptance, feeling healed and rejuvenated. So I think this weekend certainly has this shift. As the moon goes over the galactic center, the end of a fucus at the end of Saturday, then we go into expansive Sagittarius on Sunday, which is much uh, much better for open-mindedness, a bit of free-spiritedness in our life, adventurousness. Essentially, it's like the butterfly after the cocoon phase. So I think that's the theme of the weekend in terms of our inner selves. But our outer self, the sun, has been in Aries. And so it has been a good time for focusing on our personal needs, um, expressing ourselves, being direct. But that's also starting to shift as well. The sun is shifting into Taurus here Saturday, Sunday, uh, putting more of a focus on our values and perhaps the material aspects of life. So you may find that you're wanting to take things a bit slowly, a bit steadily, enjoy the simple pleasures of life. And it is a fantastic next uh, month plus with the sun in Taurus. All right, so that's the um, placements. And then on Monday, we still have a Sagittarius energy and some things to learn about the um, life path. Uh, but let's go and look at this in more detail when we return. All right, so here we go. We have the moon in a fucus on Saturday. Um, so yeah, fucus is all about healing right? It's the serpent's bearer, uh, becoming aware of and accepting all aspects of ourselves and of life, even the uh, ego and the deeper aspects of self and the instinctual, right? That's the serpent, right? The quote unquote lower aspects of self. And so as we learn to work with this, we accept it. Um, there's a tremendous healing in this process. And that's essentially what the moon over the galactic center will uh, feel like as we go into Sunday, uh, which is much more of an expansive worldview, Sagittarius, really good for philosophy, a bit of adventure in your life, just a bit of that free spirited feeling. Now, um, in terms of the sun over the weekend shifting into Taurus, we could start to feel more of this focus now on um, accessing the more grounded aspects of ourself. Now, it's already sort of been the case because Mars has been in Taurus. Uh, but now the sun shifting in here really emphasizes it. So anything you can focus on now for the next month plus in regards to the things you value in life, whether it's material or otherwise, to your resourceful side, right? Your natural resources, your sense of self-worth, uh, sense of self-reliance, right? Developing this now and focusing on it is excellent. I think just all in all, you know, enjoying things along the journey. You know, stopping to enjoy things along the journey is fantastic with Taurus. Also, gratitude uh, for everything we do have in our life. Uh, but with that being said, Mercury is subtly going to be shifting into Aries next week. So we may start to feel that shift. But uh, we still do have a lot of this Pisces energy, of course. Still a great time for intuition, letting go and surrendering. Finding the peace that arises from that. So looking at the Saturday, Sunday time period, as you can see here, no major aspects. Uh, we are coming off of what was this Thursday, Friday um, sort of shift with our motivations, perhaps maybe yesterday on Friday, feeling a bit inspired, a bit hopeful. And I think that's a great energy to work with coming into this weekend if you are feeling guided to. So with this deeper Saturday energy of a fucus and healing and all this, uh, we do have the moon going over Saturn. And the reason this is significant is because next week we have Saturn trining up to Uranus exact. And this uh, first started back in late December. And that was the first aspect. So coming up next week, we've got this second aspect with this, which is essentially this shift of understanding about what we want to build in our life. 
particularly what we want to build that is an expression of what we're truly about, right? And is an expression of what gives us freedom in life, what gives us excitement. So although we're not quite there yet, we could be feeling this maybe inspiration yet grounded energy um, here towards the second half of Saturday. And I think it is great to work with it in that regard. Anything that does require a bit of free spiritedness, individuality, progressiveness, technology, friends, groups, innovation, anything that is about that progressive nature of yours, I think is fantastic to work with. And um, anything that also does require a bit of patience and discipline, which I think is linked there. All right, now uh, Mercury is going to be trending up to, um, or the moon's going to be trending up to Mercury and this North Node trine. So we have a grand trine here the second half on Saturday. Uh, and the reason this is significant is because this is happening on Monday. So Saturday is kind of a glimpse day. We kind of get a glimpse of what's in store next week. And with the trine to Mercury in the North Node, this could be specifically learning about our life path. There seems to be some sort of insight, some sort of shift taking place. Uh, again, more so next week, but certainly Saturday. And this could be about what gives us passion, what gives us enjoyment in life. And this is essentially what's been the North Node in Leo. So with Mercury trining up to Leo, uh, there's a lot to learn about this going into next week. What it is we enjoy, what it is we're passionate about, learning more about our self-expression, even our creative side, perhaps. And so, yes, the second half of Saturday could be emphasizing that just a lot of supportive energy for learning, uh, communication, expressing ourselves, and I think fundamentally learning about what that passionate life path is that's been unfolding this last year and this year of that, uh, you know, discovering what it is where we enjoy and what sparks that inner flame. All right. So, uh, yep. So that's the most, you know, active part of this weekend is this Saturday, the second half. Then, as I said, as we go into Sunday, we do get a bit of a pause with the lunar aspects, which could give a bit of space in our daily life, which is nice, but certainly uh, great for, again, that Sagittarius energy, open-mindedness, philosophy, discussing higher things, pondering the meaning of life, doing astrology. All of this higher stuff is fantastic. Maybe the second half of Sunday, uh, it might be collectively hard to enjoy things on a minor note. Um, so, you know, I think being aware of and being grateful for what we do have in our life and even the people we have in our life as well. And if it is a sort of disconnection there, or hard to connect, whether it's with the things we value or the people we value, um, I think it's excellent to just bring that extra conscious attention there and do whatever it is that we feel like is the right step, the grounded step in relationships, maybe the cooperative harmonic thing, um, which is uh, all about the square to Venus. All right, so that is the weekend in a nutshell. It's essentially two halves here, right? We've got Saturday deep healing, accepting those wounds leads to this, um, which I think is going to happen naturally, this more open-minded perspective of Sagittarius, making it great for anything philosophical or adventurous. So now let's look at um, Monday separately, just so there's no confusion here. So Monday, we do have the moon um, still in Sag. Okay. So coming into the week, I think it is great for continuing with that expansive worldview, even to examining our belief systems, you know, cause our belief systems are so important to the manifestation of our reality. And that's what Sagittarius is about is about seeing the bigger picture. And through that gaining a sense of purpose and direction and connection to life. And so, um, I think that's going to be the general theme as in terms of how we're feeling on Monday. So here's the Monday aspects. And as you can see here, Mercury trining up to the North Node, as I was saying, is uh, really the emphasis coming into this week. So this is where I think we can learn a lot about our life path. I think we can learn a lot in general on Monday. But again, I think it's about that passion, right? North Node and Leo. What it is that excites us? What it is we enjoy? Or maybe for some of us, it's more mild. Maybe it's simply connecting to some hobby or interest or um, creative projects or simply expressing ourselves. But the point here is that this is the direction life has been taking us all collectively last year and this year towards discovering our unique passion. And I think there's certainly something to learn about it. And again, as I said before, it is great for communication, learning, 
and just being open-minded in general, especially with Sagittarius energy. All right, so uh, on a secondary note to this, we could be feeling the first half on Monday, maybe a bit uh, um, over under extreme with the buoyancy. The moon will be squaring up to Jupiter. So if there is anything that you feel like, you know, you're feeling over inspired towards, again, balance, extra tension there could be good for that or under you know maybe not optimistic pessimistic or something like that depending on the swing of this pendulum so the emotions are swinging here and i think just understanding that this is part of a again much larger perspective here that there are possibilities and potentials but maybe they are taking one step at a time and i think having a grounded approach to anything that we do feel inspired towards or lack thereof is good for monday now, um, I think the most impactful thing probably on Monday will be the second half. Uh, this will be the moon conjoining up to Pluto, suggesting that there might be some breaking of patterns and again, changing of our belief systems. You know, Pluto has been transiting that Sagittarius and um, over the past many years, helping us shed any old skin, any old beliefs, any unhealthy beliefs, limiting beliefs. And so if you do feel like there are some patterns you can break, Maybe even some fears you can face to expand those horizons on Monday, I think is fantastic. But I think it's more of an inner process here, right? And through that inner process, then it might mirror itself in the external reality. All right, so have a fantastic weekend and Monday, everyone. Thank you again for all of your likes, comments, and shares and supports with this channel. But um, yeah, have a great one, and I will see you all on Monday for the Tuesday report. Take care.